this I'll show you quickly how to create your own function as you can see this is the last videos data over here you can zoom in because there is animated zooms which is on we have a math.sqrt which is square root function which is handling the data over here so if you want to change it to some other function let us say a function of your own making as in sin x plus cos x or something which is not standard function you can write it down in your own words as a new function if you know basic javascript this will be very pretty easy so all you have to do is replace this with the new function so let us create a new function called new func and give the variable as x and what this function will do is this will return math.sqrt of x back to the function so once I delete this over here and replace it with new func let us see what happens alright so you can see that the same thing works you can see that it's still working so if you want you can directly change it over here to math.exponential of x and you can see that your change has been made but that is not why we have created this is not why we have created a simple function over here you can make it an addition of several other functions like math.sin x plus math.cos x math.cos x so once we run it all right you can see that there's a wonderful graph over here so this is how you can plot a sin x plus cos x graph and further if you are interested you can even go ahead and experiment with other values sin 2x plus sin 3x and that would be something like this so you can see that this is wonderful such an amazing curve over here sin 2x plus sin 3x sorry sin 2x plus cos 3x and uh, you can even add further more variables if you want you can add other another function over here let us add another function called new func 2 and we'll give the same values i by 100 so it should be simple if you have seen the previous videos what i means and all that so new func 2 and over here let me give it the value of let us say square root of x plus math.square root of 5 times x alright so that will be wonderful let us see what, what it gives us alright so as you can see I was unable to get it as long as I did not give this label so once we don't have this label it doesn't work so you can see guys how important it is for you to give another label you can leave it blank like this but do not forget to give at least the quotes inside so let us say second function and this I'll change it to first function so let us run it alright so you can see that this red colored one is the first function which is sin 2x plus cos 3x and the second one is square root of y plus square root of 5 times y alright so you can have cos 4 times y plus sin 5 times y so you can run it again to see that you can see that you have amazing curves over here 
and this is how you come up with custom functions and this is how you create new functions it's simple it's easy so go ahead and practice with several other functions of your own thinking you can come up with many so if not you can go online and find out certain specified function as in certain functions are used for uh, various applications you can try to plot them down and see where the values lie all right so that's it for today i hope to see you in further videos thanks a lot for watching bye bye